So I have a situation here with my Panarica Prismarta Carpa and I wanted to show you what I do when I spot treat for an infection on a pseudobulb without risking the entire structure of the pseudobulb. The intention here being to dry out the infection and only the infection. From jump, the Prismarta Carpa arrived with fungus on the leaves and while it has not spread to the other leaves, it would appear that this time around, it has spread to the pseudobulb of a new growth. Now, allow me to just explain what happens here and why this happens and what you can look out for should you have a similar situation. There are some orchids that grow bracts along with the pseudobulb as it is growing as a new growth, so to speak, that are much more damp and stickier with not necessarily happy sap, but they are so much more moist and damp because the orchid, as it grows, has these protective bracts and it keeps all the nice hormones, juices and everything intact and protected. So when the temperatures drop, a little bit too much for the liking of an orchid, that damp moisture, that protective shield, the sheath, can turn into a problem because that is exactly where bacteria will love to hibernate as well and procreate. So this is what has happened with my Panarica from when I suddenly had a temperature drop for about 10, 11 days and it was super dark, high humidity, no airflow and these structures, three in total, were all growing at the same time and I couldn't take the orchid outside for airflow. Anyway, it is the first time that the fungus has spread to the pseudobulbs and we're going to address that and just spot treat it. Now I do have the same black spotting on my other two new growths but they don't have indentation. So I'm treating those with hydrogen peroxide every third, every fourth day. And I will do that after we've addressed these two. And the only reason I'm addressing these two in this video, hopefully it'll help you, should you find yourself in a similar situation one day, is because they have an indentation. That means the infection has already gotten into the cells and they are right now decaying. And I'd like to avoid the spread. It is also possible in a situation like this that everything now that things are warmer and the orchid is outside, this may just dry out on its own. I just don't want to risk it and I thought why not bring you along because every once in a while we do have a situation where 99% of the bulb is awesome. Why should we forfeit it to protect the rest? Anyway, I hope that was helpful to give you an understanding of what I'm trying to achieve here. I have sterilized my knife and with whatever we're doing, when we finish this one, as the example in the video, I will also progress and do the other one right here, but we have to re-sterilize the knife or any kind of implement if you want to follow what I do should you find yourself in a similar situation. And what I'm doing is just cutting, stabbing into the infection itself, directly into it. I'm not trying to scoop out everything in order just to get at clean tissue. I just want to make the incision and do a scoop twist thing like this, which gets me pretty much into green tissue for the most part and remove whatever infection is in there. I don't want to get in too close because I don't want to compromise the entire pseudobulb. So now that we've done that, and because alcohol only disinfects when it is evaporating, we're just going to sterilize the knife again so that I'm ready to go, not forget it when I go into the next offensive patch. Now, this is where it gets a little bit fiddly, a little tricky. If you were to have roots on the surface of your media and you're going to do what I'm doing and you're at an angle like this, I would recommend placing a wet paper towel all around the base so that you will not compromise that aerial root system or the roots that are crawling over the surface of the media with the desiccating properties of cinnamon. So I don't happen to have any roots here. These are, while they're on the surface, if they go, they go. The rest of the pot has plenty of viable roots. Then this is an awkward angle. There's only a little bit in there. I am going to try and use the hole. See the hole here of my melon cutter and place it over. <laughs> it won't work. But the idea being to get in there targeted with cinnamon. So at this angle, that won't work. So instead of that, I'm going to just use my brush my paintbrush that I use for all sorts of things when it comes to pest repelling 
with garlic alcohol and I'm just going to stuff it into that flesh wound. I would love to be able to pack it in like a paste-like thing, but for the next couple of days I'm just watching to see if this is going to do the trick to seal the wound, to dry this area out. And if I have to repeat the procedure with my knife again, I will do that. But it is extremely targeted and the intention being, once again, not to compromise the entire pseudobulb, just to dry it out and get rid of the bacteria. This has worked for me super well in the past. I don't see why it shouldn't work for me this time around as well. Seeing as we're in the great outdoors, there's plenty of airflow. Now let me turn this one around and see if I can even show you the next offensive. <laughs> Probably not. I would need a third hand. But you see the next offensive indentation here. The infection is obvious. There's another small one there. And I'll be treating that. I won't be able to film it because leaves. So I'll be back when I've done that and show you the end result. I think I've got an angle here where you can see what I'm doing. I've got my little melon scoop here and I'm going over the infection that I carved out as previously. And now I'm just pouring the cinnamon onto that area. Like that. And that's what I wanted to do with the other one. I have a third one. I'm not sure if this one's even visible. But it's pretty much the same. You will see brown markings along the pseudobulb, and that is where I started treating with hydrogen peroxide in the early days, once I could get the orchid outside and make sure that I don't spread any bacteria around. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that it made you feel comfortable and give you the courage to do exactly the same thing and not to have any fear if you see some kind of spot bacterial infection on any of your pseudobulbs. It's easy to take care of as long as it's only a fraction of an infection. Get ahead of it, do what I do, and let me know in the comments how it's worked out for you. Or if you have any other questions and if you would be so kind as to subscribe to the channel, please like the video, much appreciated. It was good to have you on the patio. Have yourself a fabulous day on the one condition though, please that you stay safe. Take care, bye.